How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time for another NHL 17 shootout commentary. I know, right? What the hell? It's been so long. Well, the reason that we're back is because of the big splash the Montreal Canadiens have made by acquiring Quebec's own Jonathan Drouin and signing him to a six-year, $33 million contract. Now, to get Drouin, the Canadians had to give up their best defensive prospect in Mikhail Sergachev, who admittedly I don't know anything about. I mean, this guy, he was drafted last year at ninth overall by Montreal. He's only played four NHL games, so I haven't seen him play. However, I have listened to reporters and read scouting reports, and apparently this guy's the real deal. A potential top two D-man who some scouts were saying was the best defenseman available in last year's NHL entry draft. Sorry, Vancouver, but you whole Levy might have been the wrong choice. Now, we have a lot to talk about for this deal, so let's start off with the Canadiens. Mark Bergevin, the GM of Montreal, has been under fire ever since trading away P.K. Subban. One year later, and P.K.'s Preds go all the way to Game 6 of the Stanley Cup Final, while the Montreal all Canadiens managed to only win two games in the playoffs before getting eliminated by the Rangers in round one. Now Bergevin has to worry about Carey Price, who only has one year left on his deal before he qualifies for free agency. This trade, to me, for Jonathan Drouin, is Bergevin basically saying, you know, don't give up on this team, Carey. I'll trade for as much offense as I can to help get you some support. From that perspective, it's a great trade. I mean, Jonathan Drouin will bolster the Canadiens' offense far more next year than Sergachev could. And that's what this trade is all about. It's about convincing Price to re-sign with Montreal by giving him a point producer for the seven years that they want to extend him for. The question is how effective will Druin be on Montreal? I mean, he's going to get all the ice time he wants. He'll be on the first line power play. He's playing close to where he was born, but what position will he play? Is he on the wing? I mean, if he's on the wing, then Montreal still has their center problem. Pacioretty, Radulov, Druin, Gallagher, even Galchenyuk. I know he's played center, but these guys are wingers. So I'm thinking that there's another trade in here somewhere. I mean, Montreal, they need that Getzlaff. They need that Malkin, that Tavares, Taves, Kopitar. They need that bona fide center. So perhaps a deal, say, involving from Colorado, Matt Duchesne, that could work, right? Uh, I don't know how realistic that is, but Galchenyuk and a piece for Duchesne, how does that sound? We'll have to wait and see, but very interesting trade here from Montreal. It opens up a lot of different options. And for Tampa, you know, to me, this trade makes a lot of sense. Last year, Drouin and the Lightning, they went through a rough patch when Jonathan Drouin wasn't performing. Iserman decided to send him down to the AHL, which, which just pissed off the former third overall pick. They did get past this issue. Druin played a whole year in Tampa last season, but I bet there are still damaged relationships from what happened. So for Tampa, they unload a guy who was giving them grief and they freed up cap space. So now that they can sign Tyler Johnson and both, or no, sorry, Tyler Johnson and Andre Palat, there was no way they were going to sign these two guys and Jonathan Druin, right? So they had to make a move and they do. And Sergeyev is still in that minor league deal. They also have two uh, franchise pieces still on that team signed long term. So if Sergachev can make the NHL soon and become an effective D-man, then Tampa will have a nice one-two punch in the blue line with studs up front as well. They just need Stammer to stay healthy for a year and you can expect Tampa to get back to where they were in 2015. What I don't like about this trade from Tampa's perspective is that Druin is still in the Atlantic and he may become a bolt killer with what happened between him and Iserman, right? Iserman may regret this trade when the Canadians and the Lightning have to play in the postseason, but I guess it'll make for some great hockey, right? So what do you guys think about this trade? Who got the better end of the deal? Will Druin, will the Druin trade convince Carey Price to re-sign, which is what I think this trade was all about from Montreal's perspective? Will Sergeyev become a bona fide top two D-men, and that means Sergeyev and Hedman, two lefties? Ooh, that's going to be scary. Do you agree with these uh, uh, two players being traded into divisional rivals? I, you know, I don't like that uh, trade from Tampa's perspective there, man. Druin is really going to come back to bite them in the ass. Could you imagine Druin versus Tampa in round number one? A lot to talk about here, boys, so go nuts in the comment section. Take it easy, and I will see you next time. Be sure to check out our website, 2bcsports.com, where the hockey talk continues. Find myself and others in the live interactive chat, or dive into the active forums to talk about sports and gaming. You can also find us on Twitch, where the live streams come to life. Whoa!